All right, in this video, I'm gonna create 12 macros to help to translate between the different unit types that are available in Reactor, such as seconds, milliseconds, frequency, and beats per minute. So let's get started. I'm gonna create the easiest one first. We're just gonna go from seconds to milliseconds. And since there's 1,000 milliseconds per second, we can simply multiply the amount in seconds um, by 1000 and output the value and so to go in the reverse way from milliseconds to seconds we can of course uh, simply divide by 1000 instead of multiplying by 1000 and different uh, reactor modules use uh, seconds and milliseconds. I think all the stuff that use seconds are uh, core macros. So the third macro I'm gonna make translates from frequency into seconds. And what that means is that if something has a frequency, say, of 440, uh, it gets repeated 440 times per second, and we wanna know the length in seconds of one cycle. So we simply divide the frequency uh, 1 over the frequency to get that number. It's very simple. So next we can easily create a macro that translates from frequency to milliseconds um, using the two macros we have already that translate from frequency to seconds and then from seconds into milliseconds. So Let's do that first. This is actually not the most efficient way to make this macro, however. And if we look inside, we'll notice that first we take the reciprocal of a number, and then we're going to multiply it by a thousand. Mathematically, uh, this is identical to dividing one thousand over the input. And in doing so, we can save ourselves a multiplication which shouldn't really matter that much most of the time, but there's no reason to have unnecessary calculations happening. And so the next macro I want to make is going to be in the opposite direction from seconds to frequency. And this is kind of an interesting relationship. The macro to go from frequency to seconds is identical as the, to the macro to go from seconds to frequency. So once again, we can just take the reciprocal of the input, 1 over x, and that'll be our entire seconds to frequency macro. And next up on the list, I want to go from milliseconds to frequency and again, this macro uh, is identical to the one going from frequency to milliseconds. So again, we can just divide 1000 over x. Okay, so there's all of our frequency to seconds and seconds to milliseconds and um, macros. And the next set of macros are going to be translating from BPM to frequency and to seconds and milliseconds. So beats per minute is pretty simple to translate into frequency. Uh, since there's 60 seconds per minute and uh, frequency determines the amount of cycles in a second, you can simply divide by 60 to go from the uh, minute value to the second value. And next on our list is to go from beats per minute to seconds, where the uh, value in seconds is going to equal the length of one beat. So we can use two of our pre-made macros to go first from beats per minute to frequency, and then from frequency to seconds. So let's set that up first. Okay. 
Okay, so once again, if we look at the two equations that we're putting the input through here, we can consolidate both of these into a single function, uh, which is equal to 60 over the input. So I'm just going to replace that with a simple division since it's uh, a little bit faster than using these two macros. next thing I'm going to do is to translate from beats per minute to milliseconds and obviously uh, we can achieve this by multiplying the output of beats per minute to seconds by 1000 um, but an even quicker way is to simply divide 60,000 over the input which is a large number I know but it'll it does work out So obviously I'm just setting up the easy way first here, and in a moment I'll just implement the faster version. And all the math that I'm doing to derive these simplified equations here is just simple high school algebra. Um, if you don't understand it, I wouldn't worry that much about it, but basically not too much happening. All right, so now we have all of our BPM values translated into frequency seconds and milliseconds. And let's start working backwards in translating from frequency to BPM. And this is going to end up being the inverse of our original BPM to frequency equation, which was x over 60. So Instead of dividing by 60, this time we're going to multiply by 60, and that'll give us uh, our BPM from the incoming frequency, which is the number of beats per second. And these come in useful, for example, for syncing an LFO to uh, uh, the tempo of a project. Okay, so next let's translate from seconds to BPM. And, of course, we do have the option of the simple method where we can just translate first from seconds to frequency and then from frequency to BPM. So let's get that set up first and then we can look at our equations and simplify them into a uh, single equation. So here, first we are taking the reciprocal of our input and then we're going to multiply by 60 so we can actually simply divide 60 over the input and we'll get the same output and save ourselves uh, one multiplication once again All right, and so the last thing that last macro I want to make is going to translate from milliseconds to BPM. So you can set the length of a single beat in milliseconds, and this macro will output the BPM. So of course we can do this by translating from milliseconds to seconds, and then translating from seconds to BPM, which we've already done. And when we do so, we'll end up uh, simplifying these two equations into a single divide, which is actually identical to the conversion between BPM and milliseconds in the other direction. So uh, once again, we can simply divide 60,000 over the input to get our new BPM. All right. I have had a few requests for these types of macros, so I hope at least a couple of you out there find this to be useful, and I'll see you next time.